Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest. And I should say this is going to be the finale. Yeah, it's only four parts. It's a short game, and this last part will probably end, end up being a bit longer, but uh, who cares? But yeah, in the last episode, I did miss that one part where you uh, actually used that cartridge you got aboard the Arcada to see the information on it. Um, of course. I didn't want to then go and redo all this stuff I'd done afterwards, so I'm not going to get full points. But it's not like I get anything special by getting full points. So, anyways, what we really need it for is one, to clarify some storyline, and two, to get a certain password which will destroy that uh, device that I always forget the name of. The star generator, that's what it is. Okay. So, uh, here is the Syrian ship. Bum, bum, bum. So uh, let's uh, get to it. Doesn't seem to be the correct action in this case. Um, leave ship. And there we go. Let's uh, go get uh, Roger. Going the wrong way. Roger, the ship is that way. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that wasn't a smart move. So that's why we got the jetpack. Yeah, if you just bought, had uh, sold the ship for the 30 Buckazoids and didn't get the jetpack, you'd be stuck here. That's Sierra for you. Oh, nice. Alright, now leave ship. And I should be good. Let's hope so. Let's get on over there. And we are now at the airlock. Love the sound effect there. Reminds me of a uh, Duke Nukem. I just uh the original original Duke Nukem is what I'm talking about. I uh, got it on a uh, GOG recently. And, well, like, for really, really, really cheap, and I was playing a little bit of it, it's just, it brings back good memories. Anyway, um, look, door. Alright, pull handle. Open door. Nice, alright. Well, that's fine. This is where we want to be anyway. And, spoiler alert, we are going to want to save a lot because this place is full of death. So, let us go on in. The door is not impressed. Hmm. Uh, look, door. robot comes in and then you can exit. Don't worry, it's not going to kill you. Surprisingly. Hmm. Some sort of trunk. Let's pop this bad boy open. Oh, of course, the other side. Oh, get in drunk. Haha, <laughs> alright. What, what does that do for us? Oh, there we go. In drunk. That's perfectly alright. We didn't need it anyway. Convenient item loss. But actually, there is another way to do this, surprisingly. And let's look, room. And there's a vent over there. And if you could tell from the, if you saw that in the room I was in before, there's also a vent in there. So what you want to do is push trunk. Uh, 
All right, get wait. open trunk. Put jetpack in trunk. Close trunk. Get on trunk. Open vent. And this is where your knife comes in handy. Get in vent. Doing this uh, solid snake style. Oh yeah. I actually kind of like that crawling animation. I don't think we ever see that again. Oh, we get on the ladder automatically. I thought we were just going to fall and die. Because, you know, Sierra game and all. Let's see. Let's go up. Come on, you can do it faster than that. This isn't Snake Eater. And to the right. Oh, gee. <laughs> Open vent. Shoot. Well, kick vent. Again, open vent. There we go. <laughs> and that's the other way to get in here. Look, room. Shoot the laundry facilities. Hmm. Open door. Get in. Get in machine. <laughs> Uh oh. Have we died? Nah, just wait. Still seem to be alive. And we are now wearing a Serian uniform that somehow made its way onto our body while we were in there. Search uniform. Let's uh, check our inventory, because I believe with that, uh, we get a key card. I believe that's the key card we need, unless I'm mistaken. Let's look in uniform. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we want. But, but to stun Freem. I feel like that's an anagram of, or some sort of inside joke. So now let's do some exploring, which we can do a bit more freely now that we look all Sarian-ish. Hmm. Yeah, let's not. Let's uh, get in this elevator. I believe that's the one I wanted to use. Um, yeah. Now to the right. Let's see what we can find, see if we can find anything useful on the ship. We need to find the star generator. Oh, is that it? Well, there it is, but we can't do anything with it right now. What are you? Fortunately, so we don't have to worry about it. Don't touch us. I'm not sure if it'll kill you now. I guess I want to head to the left. Hmm. Yeah, this place can be pretty confusing. Let's head up this way, then. Uh, 
No matter what you wear, you still have that same old strut, Roger Wilco. I was actually reading up on this game, uh, when you put your name in the beginning, apparently it's kind of like a, uh, well, it's kind of like, uh, jeez, what am I thinking of? It's, it's like Earthbound. Now, if you don't put a name and just press enter, then it will come out as Roger Wilco, so that was more or less his original name. But it just didn't become, like, fully canon until, you know, the second game. Hmm, there's a star generator that we saw, and there's a guard. We need to do something about that guard. Uh, here, this is where I wanted to go. The armory. Alright. Talk to the droid. Ah. Now, what are those down there? Ooh. Get grenade. What? Now get grenade. <laughs> well, we do want a grenade, but I uh, can't get one while that robot's watching us. Oh, I did ID card. All right, give ID to robot. And while it's over there, quickly, quickly, get grenade. There, ha ha. And also, we get a weapon. Oh snap! Let's uh. Let me guess, he'll uh, kill me if I do it again. Yeah, and it's going to be kind of hard because uh, on my particular computer, in order to actually use F6 or at any of the F keys, I have to press the function button first and then F6. Uh, I don't know why they designed lots of keyboards nowadays like that. I remember back in the day when you could just press your F key and it worked. You didn't have to press any other key in conjunction with it. Anyway, the reason we got the grenade was for this guy. Oh. Drop grenade. <laughs> yeah, baby. So we are, we've almost accomplished our uh, goal. Remember in that cartridge that we didn't actually see, there was that self-destruct code for the, uh, for the star generator. Just get out of my way, what are you trying to do, dude? <laughs> and even if you haven't seen the cartridge, the code will still work. What the? And we've lost our helmet. Yeah, things aren't going to be quite that easy. Your inability to walk without falling on your face. And this is where our gun will come in handy. Spoiler alert, you want to save. Which I have just done. But you didn't see it because of the power of editing. Alright, so uh, be ready to shoot. You may not have a need of that, and I think you might be able to just shoot the uh, guard at, without having to use the grenade on him, but grenade gets you extra points and it's easier. Less chance of death. And in a Sierra game, you want as little chance of death as you can get. And luckily he's knocked out. So first, let's uh, search body. Hmm. Press off. Get from 
remote push off push remote um how do I do this ah push off button there we go and the force field's gone Okay, what? No, okay. <laughs> so now let's take a look. Hmm. All right, open panel. Look panel. Oh, and this is where we enter the code. So if you remember, it is. Six eight five eight. Okay, now how do I click it? No, seriously, how do I how do I press the button? F six oh F six to select key, jeez. Um six eight six eight five eight. Five, eight. Enter. Detonation cycle has begun. All right. Dragonia has come alive. The heat of this thing is starting to generate. It tells you that it's time to blow this taco stand. So I almost pressed to restore instead of save. Oh, let's so uh, let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's get the heck out of dodge. Oh, and I should have shot the guy. Okay, I actually had to. Uh, sorry, I had to. Uh, shoot. Well, let's not get near it, but yeah, I had to shoot before I even uh, left the door, otherwise it kills you automatically, and let's... please don't touch us. Alright. Saving a lot here, because that's the necessary thing to do. Let's go down to this elevator. You get away from us, robot. Oh, we are almost out of here. Alright. Come on, get down, get down. There we go. Alright, look, ship. Alright, get in ship. You swiftly slip into the sleek ship. <laughs> I can do that three times. Close door. Look in ship. Uh, use ship. Hmm. Uh, turn, oh, turn key. What am I supposed to do here? Hate it when it does this. Okay. Look, ship. Okay, press launch. Guess what? We have made it. Oops, this episode ended up being a lot shorter than I thought it would, but hey. has been blown to tiny fragments by the force of the star generator's blast. You have saved the lives of millions of your people, not to mention the lives of those in other systems. Don't get a big head. <laughs> Congratulations, Roger Wilco. You rid the universe of the evil Sarians and saved your people from certain doom. I, I doubt one ship of Sarians is all of them, unless they're really, really stupid. 
or I, I don't know. <laughs> Putting all, your whole race on a single ship doesn't seem like a smart idea. Anyway, the Dune Star Generator technology is safe inside the data cartridge. Now a new Star Generator can be built and can carry out its original task. You're an all-around hero. You've made it home safely aboard the stolen Syrian craft. Where you've, been, where you've encountered a cheering Xenon crowd. They have gathered together for a ceremony in your honor. The ceremony is already in progress. This is going to be a Star Wars reference, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love it. Applause. If you're going to rip something off, rip off a Star, Star Wars. Golden Mop. And that's not always going to be the case for him. There are more games in the series. Including a VGA version of this game. If you're watching this sometime in the future, the VGA version may already be on my channel and you can give it a watch to see the differences. And this also says Watch for Space Quest 2, which is indeed the next Space Quest game which I will be doing, and it is also a fun one. I should believe this is the first time I've beaten the uh, EGA version of uh, Space Quest 1. And it definitely had some good beginnings, but some stuff to work on, especially the freaking how they parsed it. Jeez. That was, that was, a, that was a bit frustrating, I can t tell you right now. But, uh, it all worked out. I figured it out. I, this ain't my first rodeo with, uh, a Sierra game. And the credits, which had like six different people that worked on it. Because back in the day, there were very, very few people who actually <laughs> worked on these games. You didn't need it that many. Now, when you watch video game credits for like 15, 20 minutes long, seriously, I was watching the credits for a Rayman Origins. Do you know how freaking long those credits are? Like 20 minutes. 20 minutes! This is a, a Ubisoft, I guess, is notorious for pretty long credits. They did the same thing with, uh... Is it Ubisoft? Uh, they also did the same thing with, uh, what is it? Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors has such long credits. And they're interactive credits in a way, but at the same time, you can only take so much of it. But here, I, I believe it just is going to repeat the credits. Anyway, if you liked this game, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, give it a comment, tell me what you thought, tell me your favorite part, tell me your own experiences with this game, tell me what your dog ate for breakfast, and uh, make sure to uh, subscribe and uh, let your neighbors know about this channel, if they like adventure games, and maybe some RPGs as well. So, this has been fun, thank you for watching, and have a good day. <laughs>